Ladies and gentlemen, now today I wanted to share everything that I've learned so far about boss killing with Rhea and talk about how to build this character for infinite sustainability so that over the course of a 2-10 to 10 minute fight you can just keep on regenerating and regenerating because when I started playing this game on the first day one of the biggest problems I had was I was getting fairly deep into boss fights but I keep on you know like making little mistakes and getting clipped uh, and taking a little bit of damage and just getting worn down and because of that I was even struggling with some of the rookie bosses but as soon as I found this armor set man it completely changed the game for me uh, the trickster one is just absolutely amazing so trickster can be crafted via the crafting interface and it's like 100 ore to craft a tier 4 piece so farming some easy missions man just even on your first day of playing uh, you can pretty much get the 4 set it's very very easy and straightforward to do and getting the 2 set increases your maximum teleport charges by one uh, so overall it goes up to three there and the set four bonus which is really the one that you're after there uh, using teleport heals five percent of your maximum health and also combined with this I also have an additional two set which is the uh, uh, the pandaxi set to the best of my knowledge so this increases my maximum health by 20 percent uh, but the kind of main reason I've gone for the pandaxi one to get 20 percent more health instead of the one that increases your teleport recharge by 50 percent because uh, that's also potentially an option if you need it, uh, is I really, really like the Pandaxi backpack. So every 30 seconds, you get a combat medic charge, so you can drop a heal buff, and when you walk into that buff, it's going to heal you for 20% of your maximum health, and in multiple kind of uh, modes of gameplay where you're playing with, like, um, uh, a duo or a triple if you're doing like the warfront stuff um, then you can drop this for an ally so somebody else can pick up this so it allows her to you know drop a little bit of support man if you do have some noobs that do need to be healed up there uh, it's very very nice but kind of both of these heals combined just grant Rhea like such an additional level of sustainability to really go deep into fights and kind of quickly heal back those scenarios where you do get a little bit punished and take some damage uh, but aside from just talking about it today I wanted to showcase it, man, and really jump into uh, a few different boss fights. Uh, so we're going to start off today by going on to uh, the main one, Loan, and we're going to fight the Rhino King to start off with. I think the Rhino King uh, is probably one of the most straightforward ones, and it doesn't seem like we can really enter anything here. However, we just have had Chief X spawn, so sometimes the spawns are a little bit weird in this game. Uh, Chief X, to the best of my knowledge, is a veteran-only boss, um, but he is, uh, he's a little bit tricky, man. He's a little bit tricky. I've only beat this dude one time before, uh, so hopefully it's going to work out all right today, man. So we're going to start off, let's, uh, let's drop our power-ups here. We're not going to, uh, bother about using the, um, uh, the, what is it, the standard, uh guns we're just going to use the the charge cannon in this matchup because this one is a massive damage race especially when it comes to the uh, the final phase as well so it's good actually to uh, try and start on the outskirts of this one he's also going to summon some additional enemies so sometimes when he summons all of these i like to go for the uh, the ultimate ability uh just on my standard guns there so we've lost a little bit of health here we can deploy one of those uh, combat medic packs just to regenerate up and if you do have two charges it's generally a, a good idea to uh, chuck one of them down so you can start regenerating the next charge and again you're gonna get one of those charges back uh, every 30 seconds so it just becomes an insanely valuable ability to have that really does uh, accrue over time as opposed to uh, most ultimate abilities which are like you use it once and then you've lost that uh, ultimate ability for the rest of the fight and when you're in these really big boss fights um, you just need a bit of sustainability really it really does help out so Chief X, the thing that makes this fight so annoying is the last phase is a bit of a, a bit of a damage check because um, he's going to regenerate about forty thousand hit points. Uh, I think it's um, approximately like every uh, twenty-five, thirty seconds or so. So this guy, he does become uh, a little bit of a force to be reckoned with. So you need to stay very, very aggressive when it comes to this one. Uh, and also those uh, super fun orbs start to come out as well. Let's drop a uh, medic pack there if we can. And let's uh, fire off the uh, the big gun. So he's going to regenerate up a little bit there. I am in a stun void, so I'm getting a little bit a little bit nuked down. Let's drop uh, another medic pack if we can. And you want to make sure you drop these medic packs uh, fairly close to the middle. Because if you drop them on the outskirts, then uh, they can... 
um, spawn out of the combat area, which is just insanely annoying to try and deal with. Right, let's use the uh, area of effect there. I think he's going to probably heal up. So you need to play, again, really, really aggressive when it comes to this dude. But I don't think he melees you, to the best of my knowledge. So let's just dodge out of the way of this one. Oh, okay, we messed up a little bit there, man. But again, it's not too much of a problem, because we do have the uh, ability to just infinitely get that regeneration back. And you can see we've already got probably about 100% of our health pool value out of that Pandaxi backpack so far. So it just does uh, absolute wonders, mate. Love it. Big, big fan. You can see, if you're paying very close attention, that some of our um, uh, attack buffs have spawned out of range, which is a really, really annoying time. And uh, this phase, man, it does feel like it lasts forever because the regeneration is is a fair bit to contend with, man. It is a fair bit to contend with. So you've got to stay very, very aggressive when fighting Chief X. He is uh, remarkably annoying to deal with. And uh, got to bear in mind as well that whenever I use those uh, backpacks, I'm going to be stunned for a second or two. Let's go for the area of effect here, see if we can nuke that one down. Let's keep on firing in our charge cannon, hopefully a maximum charge in this man. Let's go for the big old ultimate there if we can, and uh, try and drop down two buffs here, pick up one of them. We need to go back in. He is very, very close to dying, but this guy, again, he can heal up in just an instant. Oh, we're very close. One more shot, and there we go. So Chief X is down, but you can see the mixture of, like, teleporting to heal up. Um, and also, uh, just, you know, dropping those medic packs and just claiming them all over the place. It really does make a crazy, crazy difference. Now, I don't think I've, um, fought Slayer X before, so that's a little bit of a new fight. I'm not really too sure how to, um... Uh, deal with this one if I'm perfectly honest man, but let's uh, let's jump in and give it a go. It's veteran So this is a, a little bit more difficult than rookie, but the regeneration uh, Is so strong that as long as I don't make massive massive mistakes. We should be all right I think I actually have fought this dude um, outside of a boss fight one or two times before so hopefully we can do something all right I don't know Okay, it looks like he's trying to like suck me in so we've just got to Stay away from him, and this is uh, a barrage of missiles here. Oh my goodness, we are getting a little bit nuked, man. Alright, it looks like he does have a, a pattern to him, though, so void whirl. Oh, no. Okay, that was a nice little dodge there. Okay, that's a triple blast on that one. Fantastic. Let's drop a medic pack here as well. Oh, we did get a little bit nuked down by that. That's uh, annoying. Now we're moving into the uh, the second phase. I d again, really do not know what to expect here. Oh, okay. We've been stunned by one of those. <laughs> and now we're being bombarded. Let's chuck this off. Teleport out if we can. Teleport again. Chuck down one of those, get topped up to full. Right, and this looks like it's going to be a little bit tricky trying to avoid all the mines here. Oh, okay, we managed to get that one down. So you can see we definitely had um, a few points where we were very, very close to about half health there. Uh, but yeah, Ray is just absolutely crazy in terms of some of her regeneration potential, man. Now, to finish off today's gameplay, I think we'll go for one final veteran boss fight. So we've got the Carpus Queen here, who is uh, a little bit annoying, man. Especially if you um, get hit by too many of the uh, the little like fire minions that are coming at you, the little fire bugs. Uh, this fight can go south very, very quickly. But we're going to give it a go, man. We'll get stuck in. Let's start off just with the uh, the blood 
blasters here, get a little bit of damage in, you know, make me use of the stun, mate. Why not for a little bit of free damage? I'm going to switch to this one, fire off the big old cannon there, just get in between the uh, the gaps and uh, start firing that off. So let's, uh, let's deploy um, uh, a medic thing, just so we've got a heal available in the middle. Let's run over these, start to detonate them, port behind her. This one, I remember like fighting this on the first day and I was like, this fight's so crazy, man. I'm never going to win this fight. And then I got the uh, the tricks to set four piece and uh, it seemed uh, substantially more manageable. Right, let's fire that off. Oh, am I going to go into the lava? Okay, I did I did massively mess up there. Uh, so yeah, I uh, wow, we uh, do not have uh, too much health to uh, play around with at all. Let's uh, go around, let's collect a little bit of health. And we are pretty much back to full. So that's the power, man. That's the power of uh, a good build around the rear, is the ability to come back from massive mistakes like that one. Let's just keep on nuking in with the, the charge cannon. Absolutely love this weapon as well. There's so much damage from it. It's phenomenal. Trying to just nuke into the Carpus Queen herself. And it's mainly about avoiding that that mighty cleave. I think uh, it's the big volcanic one next, right? Okay, we're moving into uh, phase two. Let's chuck a heal down. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about getting a heal for a second. Carpus Queen should just be down here. Just dodge that projectile. A little bit of additional regeneration there as well, which is fantastic. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful just because we don't really have any teleport charges to play around with right now. Oh, it's going south quite quick. Let's pick up a heal there. Just kind of proactively dropping heals. Oh no, both of those spawned out of range. That's awful news. Awful, awful news. Right, let's see if we can pick up that heal there. Not to, to a whole lot of benefit, in all fairness. Oh, damn, man. I'm playing like friggin' scrub here, boys. Getting a little bit ruined. See if we can uh, recover this. These like rolling bombs are just uh, just a bit mad, mate. Just a bit mad. Okay, well, that was a little bit, um, a little bit clutch, man, a little bit clutch. It's really hard to commentate and also play this game, uh, at the same time, but uh, we just about managed to pull that off, man, just about managed to pull that one off there. Uh, oh, the Lava Giant as well, let's go for the Lava Giant, man, if we can queue into this fight. Bonus little treat fight as well on, a uh, on Veteran Difficulty, so this is the, uh, the second of the one that I'm looking, um, like getting some master bosses down next. Is it master next or is it thinking of something else? Oh, I meant to chuck the pause there, man. I think he, he literally just interrupted that, so that's well annoying. Right, he goes for the double jump and then like two smashes this man. So let's not worry about it too much. Let's dodge that one. Oh yeah, he's very proactive on the smashes. It's just best to outrange him if you can. Try and get this fight under a little bit more control. There we go. Smash number one. Smash number two. Okay, I think we got... Dude, that carrier settings thing happens far too much in combat. Perfect, mate.
All right, we still landed all the shots and dealt all the damage there. That's the beauty of the, the charge cannon, man, is this absolutely phenomenal range on this. I don't think we uh, managed to hit anyone there. Ah, okay, we got what a bit bit womboed there. Let's drop a, drop a heal pack. Good thing about this one, as long, as long as you can get away from him, there's a lot of opportunity to kind of back off, regenerate. Don't need to worry about like utilizing the health packs just yet. Okay, should be. Oh no, no, he's not charging at me yet. It's the the whirlpool of fire. Might as well get one of those. Ooh, okay. Well, we got charged into, but we kind of got charged into a health pack there, so. Worked out right in the end. Yeah, I can't do anything. If you get hit by one, you get hit by two. Or oh, three in this phase, apparently. <laughs> it's definitely some of my, my worst play in a fair bit, man. Just, uh, I've apparently lost all, all my magic, all my mojo. Bit of a risky one there. It could have spawned out of uh, location. There we go. Dodge that. I think this actually might do it. There we go. Sword, mate. So you can see, um. Even if you're a scrub like me, and you're getting hit to all sorts of stuff, like, this set with Rhea is just so good, man. It's so, so good. Uh, so yeah, build, uh, build the Rhea around Trickster, man, and get that Medic Backpack as well. It's gonna save you a lot of stress, a lot of hassle, just that ability to kind of bounce back and recover any single fight, if you can get a hand on it and play well enough, is just insanely valuable for so many scenarios. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think of, uh, Rhea and this setup in the comment section below and if you're having uh, more success with a different setup uh, please do let me know if you've got any additional tips or tricks again this is only day three of the global release of this game so if there's anything else that we might have missed on today's video it's like insanely valuable to know uh, please do let me know but aside from that ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching take care and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day